hello i meant to record a bit of this yesterday uh after our travel day here and embarkation just to tell you what it was like um if you're interested if you are hoping to take a seaborne cruise from Barbados to uh we had a really good flight from heathrow to Barbados. um we booked our flights directly with seaborne the the cruise and everything was with seaborne um well via a travel agent but it was it was with the flights were booked by Seaborn. Um, so unfortunately they were locked as economy flats. Like we would have liked to have upgraded them as it's a special anniversary, but we weren't able to. However, it was actually really good. Um, I, because I have like executive club membership, I had access to book uh, seats from, well, bizarrely, like usually I should have it seven days before, although I will go up next month. Um, but I seem to have it from the day the, the tickets were booked. So I booked the seats where there's two seats like sat by each other right at the back of the plane. Um, and they were great. We didn't have to disturb anyone to stand up. It was just us sat by each other. Um, and actually we were served first for like meals and stuff as well. They tended to start at the front of the economy and the back of the economy and work together. We had an amazing uh, hostess that looked after us really well. Um, lots of drinks soft drinks um meal was all right nice and then like a little pastry thing before we landed and then we realized on a, well i realized on arriving in barbados that we've been to barbados i mean at least we only we went twice but every other year we've been at once um and we've flown in all those times but we've never actually gone through arrivals at barbados we've always gone on a piano cruise and have been like whisked off onto a coach straight to the ship because we've always flown um we've always upgraded flights on that we've always been like first off onto the bus straight to the ship so Barbados has been like the well obviously we've had days in Barbados at the end of the cruise but the, the arrival of Barbados has just been a blur um so I was wondering how long it would take but actually it was it was really good um took a bit of time to get off the flight but I think that was just us waiting for a staircase to come to the the to the ship not to the ship to the plane um and then we were right at the back of course we were off last but that was fine there was no rush um and then we were ushered towards immigration and there was a steel band playing which was lovely um and then there were bits, bits that people could go off to um transfer to other islands and then there was a lady standing there before immigration and before luggage reclaim with a seaborn sign she went to see her and like kind of check in and register that we'd arrived in Barbados. And then she took a group of us through to immigration and we were bypassed, passed all the queues in um, immigration. It was great. Now, we were all, I think, supposed to fill something in online, but no, not one person had done it. To be fair, I'd tried to do it, but it hadn't worked. Um, I'm not sure why, but it worked in the airport and there were machines there to do it. So it's fine. So she was showing some people how to do it and then he saw us and I think, to be fair, we weren't actually the youngest in that group. There were quite a few young people, but she was like, oh, you can use that machine and do it yourself. It was much quicker. So we did that and did the, it was like a health declaration thing related to COVID really. And, um, and basically that we were in transit, you know, we were in Barbados for, I don't know, four hours. And then when we return, we're flying away. Um, we... Yeah, so that was really quick. And then we saw a man who checked our passports. That was quick. There was no queue whatsoever. But there was a queue. There was a huge queue for everyone else that had arrived. But because Seaborn had, like, fast-tracked us, there was no queue. It was great. Um, actually, talking of queues, we had no queue at security in Heathrow either. Um, we were really lucky. Because of our um, BA Executive Club membership, we have we can check in um, at Club World, check in whenever we want regardless of the class that we're, we're flying in. And um, we checked in. Uh, we checked in online. We did bag drop at the uh, Club World bag drop. Uh, there was a bit of a queue, but it didn't take long, like five minutes, whereas the, the economy queue down the way was huge. Um, we then went into security and went to go to the normal security and were ushered through to the other one. Um, so security was literally, we just walked straight through. It was amazing. And then we had a lounge and went and waited in the lounge. Anyway, I digress, that's Heathrow. Um, Barbados, yeah, so then luggage reclaim, that took a while, but everyone's took a while, not just ours. 
and I'm just glad that our case arrived with us. Um, because I had my away case, my hand luggage case, so I had made Dave give me some bare essentials like swimming trunks, um, t-shirt, a uh, nice shirt, uh, shorts and things for me to put in my hand luggage because it has like a compression system so that if anything went wrong and our main um, cases went on a different holiday or joined us later then at least we had stuff that we could um, get by with a nice smart evening wear, some resort casual wear and swimwear. Uh, it would be this is what it would suck to be stuck in the Caribbean with no swimwear. Um, but our cases did arrive, which was great. And then we were taken out through customs and then to a waiting minibus, which drove us to the port. At the port, there were luggage handlers that took our luggage away. They first, and then they came to check in with us because then the ladies checked us in and then wrote luggage tags to go on with our suite number on to go on the luggage. Um, and then the luggage was taken away. We next saw it in our suite. Um, and how did we check in? So we checked in briefly with the people with our luggage and then we walked through the cruise terminal, well, through a tiny bit of it in Barbados. And then, and then the lady was good. Now, if you know cruise, the cruise terminal in Barbados well, um, I mean, we and all the other people we were with knew it well. There were buses all lined up at the entrance if you're coming off the ship to the um, cruise terminal. And our cruise to our cruise ship was docked where the big P&O ships usually dock, basically, um, behind the, the new Barbados sign. Um, so you have the clippers that are here and then the P&O ones kind of go down there. So our ship was docked there. And it's a tiny ship. It's Seaport Innovation. It's little. Um, and they were going to put us in a minibus and drive us there. It wasn't, I mean, it was probably raining a bit, spitting. Um... We said to the lady, like a few of us were like, our ship is literally there in front of us. Please, can we walk? We've been on a plane for nine hours. Um, and she was like, of course. <laughs> so we all walked. And we, well, obviously, if you didn't, if you couldn't walk, are you walking with a problem or you were shattered or whatever? You could get in the bus, that's fine. Um, but we all walked. And I say we all, there were six of us, not many. Um, and then... We were met at the bottom of the um, gangway stairs onto the ship, um, welcomed, and then we well, we had like boarding passes as well. We did have them on the app on our phone, but we, they'd also printed them off for us as well. So we had this boarding pass. We got onto the ship with that being scanned. There was a barcode on there. And then we were then sent by a member of the crew so we went up a floor we went to the i think it's the grand salon saloon salon anyway we went to what's kind of like the big lounge area and we were properly checked in there and then after checking in we were sent to another woman who had our cards and then because we our flights arrived at half three um we got on the ship for about five um, and then obviously our suite was ready, so we just came straight here, and met our, uh, sweet host, which is like the North American term for a butler, really. I mean, we don't see her that much, to be fair, but this is only day one of the cruise. We, I don't know how to contact her, but I don't need to contact her. We, we have a cabin steward, like the cleaner version, the, the cleaner one that does it, uh, um, called Moy. She's lovely. I think our cabin host is Claire. But Moy seems to be the one that thoughts of a thing. I think she's more junior to Claire, but she's she's the sorter. We um they said to us like if you need something and you don't see us, like write us a note. So we've been on the Seaborne um notepad that we've got and a pen from them. I've been writing notes. But nice notes. Um but notes. But I'll go through notes in the next little um vlog. Um and why I've written notes. Um and then there they invite, they introduced themselves. Then we all had safety briefing at half past seven for anyone that had got on the ship after half past four. We went to the Seabourn. I'm still getting my um, Seabourn name <laughs> sorted. So we went to the Seabourn Square, which is supposed to be the heart of the ship, although we've just been there an 
no one's there. But uh, it's a lovely kind of area where the customer services are, guest services, shore excursions, future cruises, um, a library, a coffee shop, lazy boy chairs we just found tonight that like go up and down. We have a sofa like that at home, so it's like, oh, wow, well, lazy boys. Um, anyway, I digress. We went there for a safety briefing. The second officer did the safety briefing, all the, you know, explaining the toots of the horn and the emergency ones and what they mean, showing us a life jacket um, going on. I noticed we've got life jackets here in the wardrobe, obviously, but they have our suite number on them. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought that was quite sweet. I've never, I've always had like a muster station on them and we have that as well, but I've never had the suite number as well. Um, and then after that, we went for dinner, briefly changed a little bit just to be a bit more smarter. Jeans I wore. I um so jeans have only recently within the last few days been become acceptable to wear elegant jeans. Mine are bog standard monsoon jeans. They're not elegant, but they're not ripped and they're very dark blue denim. Um so I wore them like a rebel. Um no one looked at me. No one bothers. If anyone was too bothered about me wearing jeans, then they really need to look at their life and enjoy themselves on the cruise more and not look at what the people are wearing. But no one was looking at what I was wearing. No one cared. Um, and yeah, changed my shoes, I think, because I just had the trainers that I'd travelled in. Uh, need to think that one through next time I take hand luggage as well. <laughs> I need to take some Birkenstock or some flip-flops or something in so that I don't just have trainers when I arrive in the Caribbean with a potentially lost suitcase. But anyway, I didn't get lost, so it doesn't matter. And then, what did we do then? We went for dinner in the main restaurant, which was delicious. Initially, they kind of ignored us for a bit, but then then once they... I think they were just really busy. I think everyone had turned up at the same time because we weren't ignored at all. Like We were given water, actually, which is what we needed after a long flight. Um, and then once we'd taken... Once they'd taken our order, service was incredible, like super quick. The food was delicious, really delicious. I'll have shown you actually before my spiel now what food's like, so you'll have seen. And then, and then we went to bed, I think. I think I was meant, I was planning to do a little talk to camera thing here to explain the first day, but we passed out in bed. The bed is just super comfortable. I mean, yeah, very comfortable. Very easy to sleep in it for many hours, of which I'm going to do soon. But I'm going to talk about, I'm going to go now from this vlog. Please watch the next vlog, because that will be all about my day in Mystique. So I'm going to speak a little bit about that day. Um, and I will show you Mystique. And Mystique is somewhere I've been to visit for ages. It's a private island in the Caribbean. And they only allow 30 or so of us plebs, normal people, on... Um, I know it's every day or every week or every few days or but anyway they're selective about the the common people that they allow on um and I'm very grateful that they allowed us on because we had the most amazing day anyway that's for the next vlog thank you for watching <laughs>